Y'all already know it's story time, bitch. So sit back, relax, grab the snacks, and tune in for this tea. And niggas lying on their dick, they ain't throwing shit. I don't know how I feel in that last video. Like, I don't want my forehead cut off no more. Like, I feel like I always film like this. Side note, this jumpsuit that I'm wearing, it was real itchy. So when I'm scratching and like fidgeting around, it's because of that. I don't like that. I want y'all to see how I like have my big, my whole head. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. This is my whole head if you care. Um, y'all just, y'all not gonna be able to see my full head. Do you care? No, me either. Okay. Okay, so try to already know I'm back with a story time. If y'all wanna see something else, let me know. But for right now, I guess I'm a story time channel. I don't know exactly what I named this, but listen. This is a story time about when I went to Atlanta with a friend. For this friend, y'all need to refer back to my jealous ex bestie story, my Walmart got caught stealing story, and is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. That's all the stories I got on her. Those two stories are about the same person, and so is this one. And my jealous ex bestie story, I called her Dum Dum. I like that name, I'm gonna stick to that name. We're gonna call her Dum Dum. Let's get into it. This time me and Dum Dum have been friends for about a year now. Okay, mind you, we're friends, and both of our boyfriends, whatever, they are brothers. So we had went to Atlanta one time, and she was just always talking about Atlanta after that. Like, it was just ridiculous. She, like, had an obsession with Atlanta for some reason. I don't know. I guess she thought it was a black Hollywood, and bitch, if she can't make it nowhere, she can make it there. That's what she thought. So she had been asking me to go to Atlanta recently, and I was just like, no. When she first started asking me, I was working at the time. But then like a few days later, I had quit. So I guess she thought like, okay, we could go to Atlanta now. And I'm just like, no. Every day this girl bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. Girl, if somebody tell you no the first time, that is the answer. Like, well, I don't understand why people beg and beg and beg. And I'm talking like this in my last video. I'm like, I beg this nigga to take me to Atlanta. <laughs> so yeah, this girl begging me, begging me every day. And I'm just like, girl. I do not want to go to Atlanta. Like, first of all, what are we going to do in Atlanta? Do you have like a fucking schedule? Because I'm not the friend that go out of town just like for no damn reason. Like, what is the purpose of us going out of town right now? I couldn't just be wasting my money to go and twiddle our thumbs in another state when we could have been twiddling our thumbs at home. Okay? So, she was like, girl, you quit your job. Like, what's the reason you don't want to go? I'm like, for starters, I just don't want to go. And the reasons I didn't want to go for real is because for one, I didn't have my hair done. For two, I didn't even have that much money. Like this was this was back in the time where like I was still irresponsible with money. Like, no, girl. And then for three, like she was trying to leave on a Friday. Like, I think no, we left on like Thursday night. Girl was trying to leave on Thursday night. So my, I wouldn't have got my check until Saturday anyway. What am I gonna do in Atlanta? I don't have that much money. And then what you want me to spend my last check, which was gonna be like $300 or so. Maybe it was a little more. It was in between $300 to $400. You want me to spend that on gas and all this other shit? Like, no, I'm not. I don't want to spend the last of my money. For some reason, she didn't understand that. So I told her no. That was my answer. And for the whole week, she didn't bring it up. She wasn't talking about it or whatever. I guess she thought I didn't want to go because of the money situation. But I just all around didn't want to go. So Thursday comes and I end up telling her I'm not thinking about Atlanta. I'm thinking she not thinking about Atlanta. But I end up telling her like, oh, I'm gonna get my check on Friday instead of Saturday. Like, you know, just happy about that. Like maybe I'll get my hair done or something. Like I already have plans for my money. I'll get my hair done and then I'll have the rest of my check left over because a sewing went and nothing but $65 back then. So that's what I was gonna get. She was like, oh, you get your check on Friday so you could go to Atlanta now. Like I really don't wanna go by myself. I really just want somebody to go with, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, girl, I really do not want to go to Atlanta. She was like, can you just come with me, please? Like, I really want to go. I really just want to see the city and just chill out there, get away. You know, just like a little small vacation. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not feeling it. Like, I, I just really did not want to go. And like, usually I stick to my word. But I'm just too nice of a bitch. And I'm like, man, I don't know. So she turned my no into a I don't know. So I'm just like really thinking about it. Like, girl, my last check not even gonna be that much and I really don't wanna spend the whole check. Like, what the fuck don't you understand? So she was like, you don't have to pay for nothing. I'll pay for everything. 
I'll, um, I'll drive, you don't have to put gas in the car, and um, I'll get the room. So I'm like, I just really just want to go with somebody. I just like want the company. I just want to take a little mini girls trip. And I was like, all right, fine. Like, I'll go. If that's the case, like, if you stay and you're going to do all this, mind you, she was working at a call center at the time. She was making, like, 16-something. So, I guess she thought she was big balling. So, okay, you said you're going to do all this, and then I guess I'll go. In the back of my head, like, I still really didn't want to go. But just by her, like, being that... I don't even want to say desperate, but desperate for me to go, saying that she'll drive the whole way. She'll put gas, I don't have to put no gas in the car, and she'll get the room. I'm just like, all right, I'll go ahead and go. Like, why not? Mind you, though, I still don't want to go. So this was super last minute, because mind you, up until this point, I had it in my head that I was not going. So I got to hurry up and pack. I'm just throwing some shit together, like... I'm just, you know, packing my makeup, my hair products, everything, clothes, shoes, everything. And then she comes to get me like later on that night. It was probably around 11 because it was a late. I think she had like slept most of the day anyway because mind you, she was already packed. She just knew she was going. She come and get me and she was like, all right, I gotta go by, um, we gonna name her dude. We just gonna name him Jordan. No, cause I like the name Jordan. I don't like him for shit. So we're gonna name him Devonte, okay? He give me Devonte, very much Devonte. So she was like, I gotta go by Devonte house. Mind you, Devonte and my dude, they're brothers. My dude, we're gonna keep his name. We gonna keep his name Dre. I messed up and said the wrong name. So nobody get confused. So I gotta go by Devonte house. So I'm like, okay, for what? I didn't really ask, like, I was just like, okay. Like, I guess she wanted to see her man before she left, whatever, I guess. So we go by Devonte house and I'm waiting in the car. Devonte come outside with a bag. And I'm just like, what the hell is going on? She was like, Devonte coming with. I was like, what, why? And she was like, I just want him to come. Like I thought you wasn't gonna come. So I asked him to come with me. So I'm like, once you figured out that I was coming with you on this mini girls trip, why didn't you tell Devonte like, all right, plans change. Tatiana coming, like, you don't have to come no more if you don't want to type shit. And she was just like, he just said he wanted to go. He said he gonna chill in the room the whole time and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, what you gonna get two separate rooms? Because I'm not sharing a room with y'all. Like that's, that's dumb. Like he does not fit in this girl's trip. Like you, you, you're not making no sense to me. I had a problem with Devante coming because they are very much toxic. I did not want to ride 12 hours in the car with them. And I just felt like they was gonna ruin the whole trip. Them as a couple, them as a, a one, a whole, they was gonna ruin the whole trip. So I'm like, okay, so you got Devante coming, so I don't have to come. You could drop me back back off at home. And she was like, oh no, I really want both of y'all to come. He gonna stay in the room. He just wanna get out the city. Okay, y'all can go get out the city and y'all can go do whatever y'all wanna do. Like, no, I'm not gonna just, mm -mm. no, absolutely not. This is not a couple's trip. This is a mini girl's vacation, mini girl's trip, mini girl's vacation, whatever the hell she wanted to call it. And she's trying to bring her toxic man, knowing that they got a toxic relationship. No, absolutely not. So as me and Dum Dum are talking, Devonte he must have like went back inside, he forgot something or whatever. And I'm telling her like, yeah, you can take me home, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no, no, no. So Devonte come back outside, got his bags and open up the passenger door where I'm at trying to scoop me to the back and she like can you um can you ride in the back i'm like yeah i can ride in the back you can take me home though and she was like no and mind you Devonte standing right there she was like no why why don't you want to go no more and i'm like this is not a girl's trip if y'all do come in like that makes no sense and she was like well do you want dre to come do you want dre to come and i'm just like no this is not like this is not what I thought this was. Like, no, I don't want Dre to come because Dre gonna be like, what the hell? Like, why are we going to Atlanta like super last minute? Like nobody wants to be like, yeah, um, I'm finna go to Atlanta like at the last minute. You know, people like to take their time and pack. So no, I was not gonna tell him to come. Like, no, you beg me, I don't wanna go. You have somebody to go with, so drop me off at home. What's so hard about that? Oh, uh, nah, I don't have to go. I don't gotta go. I could just, uh, I'm gonna stay here. She was like, no, you can come. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, you don't really mind. You're not serious, are you? Talking to me. I'm like, no, yeah, I'm serious. 
you can drop me off. Like, I don't care. Because I don't even have, like, um, Devante. And that's for, that's so many other stores, y'all. I, I know y'all sick of these ass, y'all so sorry. But I swear to God, when I break down why I don't like Devante, y'all come back and look at this video. Cause I don't know, some people gonna think I'm fucked up for this or what, but no. You begged me to do some shit that I didn't want to do in the first place. You got somebody to go with, go with your man. That he wants to go. So go. So long story short with that, Devante ended up going back in the house and him and his little bags. And we leave, we get we get on the road. She slick got a little attitude or whatever. She calling Devante, Devante not answering. I actually end up driving to Louisiana. When we get to Louisiana, um, we go to like a rest stop and we switch driving. So now she's driving. I guess she gonna drive the rest of the way because first of all, bitch, you said I didn't have to drive because even before we took this trip, even before she even asked me to take this trip, I had already told this girl like, I hate driving long drives. I don't like it. Like I do not dri like driving 12 plus hours. Like I drove to, I rode and drove to California. That's like 26 hours, California to Atlanta. That's 30, no, no, hell no. She driving for a while. We just listening to music, vibing. Her attitude is going away, whatever we talking and blah, blah, blah. So I fall asleep at some point. Wake up, we close to Georgia. We not actually in Georgia. I wake up to her actually arguing. That's how I woke up. So, you know, I'm waking up sneezing and coughing and shit because I, at the time, I just thought I was getting sick. I didn't know, like, yo, um, allergies kick in when you, like, go out of town and shit like that. So, I ain't have no medicine or nothing. So, I'm just sneezing, nose running. I'm feeling sick as shit. And this girl arguing on the phone, and, and I just hear, bitch, da da da, you should have told her this and told her that. And she was like, okay, but I can buy you a flight. If you really want to come, I can buy you a quick flight. And I'm just like, what? Bitch, you finna pay for this nigga a flight because he on this phone cussing you out? Y'all are toxic. He was like, I don't want no fucking flight. I wanted to ride. I can hear it because it's loud. And then she ends up like turning her phone now. And she was like, okay, but I didn't know. Like, you know, they just arguing back and forth, back and forth. And they get off the phone. He hang up in her face and then he don't answer no more. They get off the phone. And I'm like, what's the problem? And he, she was like, he really wanted to come, but he felt like you didn't want him to come. I didn't want him to come because we were not cool like that anymore. He disrespected me multiple times and called me out of my name multiple times. And guess who let him? Her fake ass. So I did not want to be around that toxic energy. And I was like, I didn't. This was a mini girl's vacation like you told me for like a whole week when you begged me to come for like a whole week. And she was like, but I don't see the, I don't see what the point was because he was gonna stay in the room the whole time. No, he absolutely wasn't. Like who goes to another state and wants to just stay in the room the whole time? He was gonna come everywhere with us. I was gonna be the backseat third wheel, the one watching y'all argue and fight. And I'm, I'm not down for that awkwardness because I've been through that shit. And I will get into those kind of toxic story times. But for, for this one, for this one, I'm not gonna get too deep in it. So, whatever, we put all that behind us. Like, I don't wanna hear about, I'm like, I don't wanna talk about dudes like this trip. Like, I don't wanna hear about Devontae and you're not gonna hear about Dre. Like, let's just keep it at what it was, a girl's trip. We get to the hotel, this girl booked rooms at the Omni. I don't know what kind of money she had came into, but she got us rooms at the Omni for three days and two nights. And I'm just like, okay. Oh, we get there, it's real nice. She valet parked the whole time. Like, I don't know, this girl must've won on a scratch off because she was just acting like she was bawling. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> oh, you know what it was? Y'all know what it was. It was that damn income tax money. First night, we didn't do nothing because that was that was really like a waste of a day because we, we got food, I got Subway, and I think she got something else. And we went right back to the room and she went to sleep all night. And I get it, she drove like damn near the whole way. So I'm just like. I also feel the need to add that this girl loves to drive. She finds it very therapeutic to go on a long drive. So just in case somebody wanted to say something about, oh, you shouldn't have made her drive. Like th that's what this girl likes to do. This was a waste. Like yeah, we in the Omni, but a waste of time, bitch. We could have slept at home. The next morning comes and 
we get up and we realize like we don't have something like i don't know what we didn't have whatever we didn't have it was something that the hotel couldn't provide us either so we had to go to walmart we just driving around she just like in awe of the city like she ain't never been nowhere actually she hadn't been nowhere that was her first time out of texas and girl you really need to get out more and all of a sudden her car started doing something. The bitch caught a flat tire or something like that. It was something wrong with her car to the point where her car broke down and it needed to be like rolled into a parking lot. I'm just like, wow, this is like the second sign of bitch, you should've stayed your ass at home. The first one was Devante. This is the second sign, like, oh my God. Actually, this is a third because the second one, I just thought I was getting sick and shit. Mind you, I'm feeling better um, the next day, but like, I'm just like, nope. Devante was tripping, I'm sick, and now this bitch car breaking down, like, no. no. We just outside, just like looking stupid, looking crazy. I was just like, this is the kind of situation that this whole always got me into when I could have just been in my bed. And it was hot as hell, y'all. When I say it was hot as hell, it was hot as hell. Finally, some dudes come over, they ask us if we need help or whatever. We take the chance and we get up into his pickup truck and we driving around looking for a damn tire shop or something. And it's just like, this is ghetto. Like, long story short, we there for like over an hour. The dudes that helped we us changed numbers with them for some reason, cause bitch, I was not gonna fuck with them. But then again, I was bored, so, and we didn't know nobody in the city, so we probably was gonna do something with them. Long story short, with that, her car gets fixed over like an hour later. At this point, it's about to be two hours. Now it's like, noon and bitch back then i took so long to get ready why i don't know but i took hella long we go to walmart go get whatever we was getting and then we go back to the room and start getting ready well, i put on just like something simple a little white shirt some jeans and some wedges um i do my real hair i think i took so long to get ready back then because when i do my real hair i had to wait for it to dry so i could fluff it out and all that bullshit y'all y'all curly hair girls know y'all know i forgot to mention that she said that she saw sarah from bad girls club i didn't see her i did see a white girl with a big booty with some black dude but i didn't like see her face or nothing because she had on like a hat it could have been her i wasn't really paying attention yeah like i was saying we finished getting ready we go to the mall we go to two malls this day and then we plan on like going out that night with the dudes that we exchanged numbers with she wanted to go out with them i did not want to go out with them because i don't know them like she she just guessed because they was nice and they helped her with her car and blah 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 that they was cool okay i forgot what mall we go to first we didn't like it that much it was just like a lame mall then we go to the um little popular mall in atlanta I forgot what the name, I think it's like Linux or something. Whatever mall Rashida store in is the mall we went to because when we got there, girl, this girl was just so thirsty to see somebody from TV. We went right to Rashida store, pressed. This is when her store was just, just opening. Like it wasn't the grand opening, but it had only been open for like a few months, if that. So we get up in there and the store is new. Everything looked new, everything smelled new. We walk in and it's hot as hell. Come to find out, the air wasn't working that day. Y'all, people got fans, people picking up shit and fanning they stuff with it. Rashida mama up in there handing out bottles of water. And I'm just like, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say, this is ghetto. Like everything happening today is getting me ghetto. So everything that's happening, plus the fact that I don't even wanna be there, it was screaming, go home. Like it was screaming that you should've listened to your intuition. They ain't even half of what happened. We, we in there, we just looking at stuff. Everything is very basic. Everything is giving me very much fashion house. If you from Houston, I don't know if they have fashion house at other places, but it's giving me rainbow. How about that? Everybody know rainbow. It's giving me overpriced rainbow. I ended up buying like a t-shirt dress, which I actually, I actually just cut that dress a few months ago and made it into a crop top. It was $50, $50 y'all. She bought something else. She bought like a rumper or something and it was like 60 or $70. It was ridiculous. Her price in the fair was ridiculous. I go in the dressing room to try on my clothes. I wasn't trying no shit. I was taking pictures. It was hot as hell up in there. So I was only up in that dressing room for a second. And when I went out, you know, we going up to the register, the line, it was hot as hell up in there because first of all, there was a lot of people. I forgot to mention that. It was a lot of people up in there. The air didn't work and they had enough bottles of water. That shit ain't working. That line was long as hell. Finally, it's our turn to come up to the register and check out. Rashida is on the register. I don't know what was taking that girl so long. Oh, and um, Kirk's daughter, Kelsey, 
she was there too. But did I even know who she was at the time? Yeah, yeah, I had seen her on TV before. What can I say about Rashida besides the fact that she looked mean as hell? She got a natural resting bitch face. I'm like, damn. And it's crazy because I wanted to say something to her, but I didn't for those reasons. So yeah, she checking out Dum Dum first. And I get on Snapchat and I start recording her. And she looking, I'm not sure if she actually looked at the camera. I'm gonna try to see if I can find that video. I'm not sure if she looked at the camera, but I know she saw me. I know she saw me recording her. Then she said to me, um, were you recording me? I was like, yes. Like I was shook because I, I thought I was being discreet because I was trying to act like I was doing something on my phone, but I had it up like this, like an idiot. Like I should have just been like doing this or something. I don't know. So I was like, yes, it was just a short five second Snapchat. I'm sorry. And she was like, well, don't record me. Don't film me or whatever she said without my knowledge. Um, you need to respect like people's personal space. Something like that. She said something like that. And I was like, I'm sorry. And then she was like, um. After you check out, if you want a picture, we can take a picture. But don't record people without their knowledge. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So Dum Dum check out first. And then she checked me out. I don't even know why I bought that expensive ass fucking dress. Like it was really her mom pushing people to buy shit. Cause I swear I was not getting nothing. Dum Dum really the one who wanted something. And then Rashida was like, okay, so do y'all want a picture? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm okay. Dum Dum said yes, but I'm like, nah, I'm okay. So I just watched her get her picture taken. And I swear to God, y'all, I swear to God, I cannot make this shit up. I didn't get this because, bitch, I was like, I'm not pulling my phone back out. Like, I'm not gonna record this lady again. But Rashida mugged the fuck out of me, the entire fuck out of me. Like, if y'all could have seen the way this lady looked at me, I was like, child, let me eat the fuck up out Rashida's store before I start slanging shit off the hanger. I'm just looking at her like, really, bitch? Really? Nobody I've ever seen off TV, I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I gotta talk to them. Like, that's exactly how Dum Dum was acting over Rashida. Rashida, of all people, really? One thing I can say is Rashida, she's not prettier or uglier than how she looks on TV. How she look on TV is exactly how she look in real life. Like. Sometimes people look better in person. Like she just look exactly how she look on TV. She don't look better in person. Like not saying she ugly or nothing because she's not ugly. Like she got long hair. Um, she's pretty, but sometimes people look better and she not one of the people. Side note, I also seen Mimi at Linux, but that was the time, if y'all refer back to my um, my previous story time before this one, when Carter took me to Atlanta to cheat on me while I was pregnant. That's when I seen Mimi, big head ass. She honestly looked like a blow pop with some big ass titties. Cause at the time she was super skinny. I mean, I'm talking like a stick skinny. She kind of tall, she got a big ass head. I think she had just got her breast implants and she had some big ass titties. And and she had Stevie J daughter with her. She looked just like Stevie J. She was so cute and little. And then Mimi was just like, Mimi had the nerve to, like she was like really somebody. I'm just like, bitch, you off a loving hip hop. Stevie J baby mama. Ain't you a May ho? Hey May, I see you got on your May I feel like you always do. I don't blame you. I'm just like, bitch, Mimi in the mall doing all this, walking all fast. Like, oh. I don't want nobody to see me. Girl, ain't nobody checking for you, Mimi. Back to the story. We leave Rashida's store and went to a few more stores. We go to Life Forever 21, um, Charlotte Roos. You know all them little stores back then. After that, we go to the food court. We realize we have been drinking all day. Like, starting from the hotel to the first mall, then to Lennox Mall. We have been drinking the whole time. And I actually drank more than her. Like, I took more shots, but then I stopped. This girl was just drinking the whole time. I mean, she bought her bottle of Crown in her purse into all the malls. So she was drinking the whole time. So we realized, bitch, we haven't even ate today. We up here just like getting drunk as hell and we have not ate. So we go to the food court, we get some Chipotle, bitch. So why we opted to get that? And we're drinking Chipotle and drinking. So we gonna throw up and have diarrhea. Because I don't know what the hell Chipotle be doing to their food, but uh, it makes everybody shit all the time. Like I'm realizing that this bitch is drunk as hell. I'm just like talking to her and she just like got her head all in her food like this, eating like this, like head all in the food, eating like this. And she like all slouched over everything. And I'm just like. Hey. <laughs> You got a little something on your lip right there. It's good. Bitch, are you okay? She was already past the point 
of no return when it came to being drunk. Like she had passed tipsy and went straight for bitch in a blackout drunk. I was just like, this is embarrassing. She didn't even remember like these dudes kept coming up to me and I was like, is she okay? Um, do you need like help with her or whatever? These dudes are helping me like walk her out. Actually, it was only one dude. The other dude, he wasn't really doing much. But he, I don't even know if she remember this. But they was helping me walk her out. We got to the car. I had to drive, bitch. Mind you, I be on. I used to be on Snapchat twenty four seven. So my phone had died, and I didn't know where the hell I was. Like neither one of us did. So I'm trying to get this girl to snap out of her drunkness, turn on her GPS, so I could find my way to the house. So she was like trying to give me directions and come to think of it, I don't even know why I was taking directions from this girl because A, she was drunk and two, she don't know Atlanta. And she was like, I swear, I swear I know how to get here. My phone dead too. I remember, I remember. You're just talking to me all drunk, bitch. When I tell you we were lost for like an hour, driving around trying to find this funky ass room. My like, girl, like where is your car charger? Like you don't have no car charger. She was like, no. She like clicked her phone or something. Why this whole phone was not even dead? Why was her phone not even dead? I don't know if it was the alcohol, but I really wanted to slap the shit out of her. So I told her to put in the downtown Omni and she put it on her GPS and basically I'm just listening to her GPS. She mumbling some shit over in the corner. I don't give a damn until she started saying, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I'm just like, girl. We almost at the hotel, can you relax? Like, when I tell you after about three I don't feel good, this girl leans over and throws up in the damn car. And I'm just like, bitch, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? And she was just like, I don't feel good, stop, pull over, pull over, I just threw up. Like, what the hell? So I stop at a damn gas station. I go in the gas station, I go get some damn napkins. And then I like pull away from the gas station because I don't want to get like throw up, like, you know, just like all in the middle of the little street and you know, people walk in and stuff to go pay for their gas. I don't want to put throw up right there. So I kind of go like behind the gas station, which is really dangerous because it was only two of us. One of us are drunk as hell and I didn't have no pepper spray or nothing. Don't be like me, don't do this stupid shit. Pull behind the gas station, get out the car, and start just like wiping her throw up with the napkins and just like throwing it because bitch, I'm not looking for no trash can. I'm trying to hurry up because people crazy and I'm trying to get the fuck. I'm getting as much throw up out of the car as I can. I don't get all of it because that shit is everywhere. She threw up a lot. It's on the doors, in between the seats. It's on the seat. It's, it's It was too much. So I get as much as I can out because I don't want to ride with the smell of throw up in the car. I'm not a person that if you throw up in front of me, I'm going to throw up, but I just don't, I don't like that smell. I get it off of her. I'm getting it out her hair. The girl threw up every damn where. A pile of napkins. By the time I left, just a pile of throw up ass napkins in the middle of the street, whatever the hell behind the gas station. I left that shit there, I skirted off. I'm riding with all of the windows down. I'm just like, wow, like every time I do some shit with this bitch, nothing goes right, everything always go left. She is always the key factor in ruining some shit. Like we can't even go out now, now because she wanted to get drunk as hell at fucking 4 p.m. All these thoughts is just like running through my head like another night in the room, watching TV, not doing shit. We really could have did this shit at home. Bitch, if all you wanted to do is get drunk and go to the mall, we could have stayed in Houston. I know that we approaching the um the Omni because we had a view of like this big Ferris wheel um outside of our hotel room and I see that Ferris wheel so I'm like, okay, the Omni is somewhere around here. Pull up to the Omni, valet parked because it's her car, not mine. Once again, I gotta walk this bitch to the room. Carry, like damn near carry this hoe because she's drunk and sleepy and acting like she can't get up. Throw up, it's all over her clothes. We get in, she take her clothes off and get right in the bed. I'm just like, okay. So now like the room kind of smells like throw up. It's still early, it's not late at night. It's probably like nine or, or eight or nine or some shit and we just in the room. Another wasted day. So I'm just like, wow, this is stupid. Yeah, I just spend that night like on Snapchat, watch the TV, whatever. So the next day come, we wake up, get ready. I had on like um, a little crop jean jacket and a dress and something else and like something, I don't know what kind of shoes. 
But, and yeah, I did my hair the same, whatever. She, I don't know what the fuck she had, I don't care. Plan for this day was to go, like, get some daiquiris and go eat some crawfish. And even after all of that, like, throwing up and shit, getting super drunk, said this bitch still wants to go drink daiquiris. And I'm like, okay, fine. I don't know when the Juicy Crab opened in Atlanta or whatever, but we did not know about it because we could not find nowhere to eat crawfish and drink, um, and that had daiquiris too. Like every crawfish place did not have alcohol other than beer. And every daiquiri place did not have like food food. Like they didn't have crawfish or nothing like that, if they had food at all. So we do shit separately. We find this little weak, when I say weak, we find this weak ass daiquiri place. When I tell you that shit tastes like a Sonic slushy, like they was charging, five dollars for a shot of crown apple which we was drinking the day before so i'm like bitch we can uh we can really leave and go drink this shit in the car because i got my crown in the car this shit is giving me sonic slushy and like i don't even know why we just paid ten dollars for it and we just like chilling in the car like we all this sh all the shit that we did in houston and could have done in houston we was doing in atlanta for some reason we find a place to go eat crawfish it was some asian place like I don't know why we couldn't find no other place, but it was some rinky dink Asian place. The crawfish was nasty, it was soft, and it was little, they were overcooked. And I don't know why we paid, like, I don't even know why we paid for that shit. What we trying to do is get some crawfish in Atlanta. How hard is that? Damn. Everything closed at eight. Fuck is this? Basically, all we did that day was drink daiquiris and eat crawfish. And I'm just like, this is, this was a waste of money and time. Like. I'm definitely ready to go. At this point, I think she realized, you know why I begged her to even come on this trip because it was really like an awful trip. It was really just like a waste of time. That night, we just go back to the hotel room because we was leaving like the next morning because checkout was at like 11 or 12, but either way, we was leaving that morning. Mind you, we didn't do nothing that night. Like it was very much boring. She's talking about she wanted to get in the pool. Then she didn't want to get in the pool, whatever. So we just ended up going to sleep, another waste of night. The next morning come and we get on the road. Ballet had actually cleaned the rest of that throw up out of her car, so she should have thanked and tipped them. Um, I don't think she did though. And I gotta sit on the side with the throw up because obviously she still be in the passenger seat. So I get like two towels. She stole some towels from Omni in a robe, I think. I had to sit on them two towels because bitch, listen, it was still wet from when they cleaned it and it still smelled like throw up. Like they didn't use no cleaning products. They just like cleaned it out like a little bit. Just had to ride with the windows down and shit. About like maybe an hour into the ride, she noticed she didn't have no gas. So she asked me for like $20 for gas. And I'm just like, girl, I will never go anywhere with you again. Like, I don't know what the fuck y'all deal is. You done spent all, like, I guess she felt like she had spent all this money on rooms and da-da-da-da-da. Bitch, first of all, I didn't even want to come. So if that's how you felt, you spent money on everything, bitch, I didn't, I did not want to come. So I gave her a little $20 or whatever. And I also drove back for like five hours. Like, bitch, first of all, you said I wasn't going to have to drive. And you also said I wasn't going to have to pay for nothing. That pertain to you and your car basically i was just gonna pay for me to eat and shit so what's up what happened what happened you know what i'm saying this girl really finessed me on this trip and i should have just listened to my intuition and stayed my ass home so this was the start of like me just looking at her like in a a, a different kind of way down the line she would always do shit like that but also down the line i learned to put my foot down with her she wanted the type of females that you can't tell nothing because she's super sensitive and anything you say to her she gonna take it to heart like why you don't want to go with me why you don't want to do this why you don't want to ever you know you, you know what i'm saying why you don't want to do nothing with me bitch it's not you i have my own life outside of you it was just really a nagger the end of the trip we in the car Dre called me like, are you sneaking off to Atlanta? Why you didn't tell me you was going to Atlanta? Nigga, bye. I'm on the phone with Dre. She's still like, whole trip she on and off arguing with Devontae. I forgot to mention that. So I'm on the phone with Dre. She on the phone arguing with Devontae and it was just very much like ghetto. I'm just like, no, I'm not doing this shit again. Next time I tell a bitch no, she gonna have to accept no as the answer. And that's just period. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Y'all hear it in the voiceover if I am. But yeah, y'all, that's the time that this hoe finessed me into going on a trip with her to Atlanta just for that trip to go all the way downhill. When I tell y'all we didn't do a thing, 
a thing that like was worth us driving and riding 12 hours back and forth to Atlanta. Wasted money, wasted time. Like we could have, everything we did, go to the mall, go get that freeze and eat crawfish, bro car broke down. We could have did all that in Houston. Her got super drunk in the mall, threw up. Like we could have did all that in Houston. Matter of fact, that's the shit that we did do when we was at home. We basically just drove 12 hours to do the same shit that we do when we at home. It's the kind of friends I was working with. Like, girl, toxic, oof. That's pretty much the end of that story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to leave a thumbs up. Do not forget to leave a comment and hit that subscribe button because you're gonna love it here. And turn on your bell notification. I need y'all to interact with me when I post my community posts so I can know what time y'all gonna be ready for the tea, what day y'all want the tea, and what tea y'all need me to drop next. So turn on all y'all notifications so y'all get the tea. Anyway, y'all, thank you for tuning in, like I said before, and I'ma see y'all in my next video. Bye.